Hi, I'm Red. You're watching Power Garage. We're back at it on the eBay EM2. Today, D16 manifold. We, we got a little trend. We're putting some D16 parts on this thing. So I had a couple ideas of some things that I wanted to try. Some other people do things a little bit different. The main thing is these three bottom bolts line up, but the two top ones don't. So as you can see, I just went at it with a drill and just got them to be a little bit bigger. Uh, this manifold is from an OBD2, so the injectors should fit. I haven't verified that yet. And one thing I did is I got a couple fittings. I got this one, it's a, a AN-6 to I believe um, 10 millimeter, 10 by one. And that fits into there. There's actually a banjo bolt that goes right here and a stud with a hole and that's how the fuel goes in. So I took that out, screw this in, uh, dash six to dash six to a 5 uh, EFI quick connect because that's how the fuel rail is or the, the fuel line that connects to the fuel rail. So I'm gonna use that. And as far as like the return fuel, I'm just gonna block it off and then later on, when we put the turbo on, we got big injectors, big fuel pump, I'll do like a budget return system. Um, one thing about this one is it came from an automatic. So it actually has an idle valve and uh, the connector looks very similar to the OBD2 style, the newer kind, so I'm gonna try that out, hopefully it fits. And then I'm gonna reuse this throttle body because I want everything just as easy as possible. So I actually got some adapters that connect the older style to the newer. So these should be plug and play, nothing to worry about. Um, and then one other thing before I put this on, I plug this hole right here because this is on this motor, the EGR port goes through here and the EGR doesn't even work because of the K-Pro. Um, on this particular uh, manifold, it would be a coolant port. There's a little fitting that goes back here and I just got an extension and just pounded it right out. So now that I told you guys what I did, let's get this old one off and then put this in, see how everything fits. Oh, and I got a D16 plastic gasket and then I also modified the holes a little bit. So we're gonna throw that on there too. So check it out. I got this thing all unbolted. I think I got a couple little on the bottom, but. Ooh, I think maybe there's still a bracket down there. I have to unbolt. Give me a second. I'll be right back. How many bolts are you missing? Yeah. 
Okay, got the bracket. Woo, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I got this little, little breather hose. I think it's for the PCB. Just gotta pull this thing off real quick. There we go. Aha. Now it feels free. Okay. So the brake booster. Okay. Man, look at, look at this piece of junk. Okay. Out with the old. Man, we got a lot of space, Tim. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Ooh, look at look at how nasty that thing is. Look at that. Just want to touch uh. it for a second. It does have over 300,000 miles on it. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is super old. Okay, I gotta take the intake manifold gasket off. And then I gotta take these studs. They're a little bit too long for the new manifold, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna double nut these and uh, get them off. And then also, too, I gotta, I gotta bypass this recirculation hose because we're not be, gonna be using this, so. Give me a minute, and we'll get this handled. All right, so I took these three studs out because they're way too long, and I grabbed some that I had sitting around that are much shorter. Uh, the studs are nice with the manifold because that way uh, I can just kind of set it in there. So I'm gonna put these studs in the outer part, and then once I get these studs on, then we can throw the manifold in. Just use the double nut trick and get them on here. All right, let's throw this manifold on then. Oh. Okay. Put the gasket on first. Then, get this bad boy on here. Oof. Big boy. Ah, there's just all this that not, sensor. Not very much room. Yeah. Okay. That's hey, you know, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the throttle body off real quick. Make a little bit easier to throw on there. There, just push down a little bit. <laughs> nah, it just uh, doesn't like this line here. Let me. Does that mean we're not? A little bit. We're not gonna run AC or what? I am running AC. Okay. Thought this was a race car. Nope. Here we go. Ooh. I got one stud. Oh yeah, the other one's on there too. Alright, ooh, there it goes. Yeah, 
it just doesn't it doesn't like this. And also too, I think the the electric steering is hitting a little. Oh yeah, it's sandwiched. There we go, Tim. Nothing's hitting, nothing's rubbing. No, that's it. That's it. It's in. Yeah. Yeah, I had to. Uh... See, for me, this is a learning experience, just like probably the rest of you guys. Um, it was hitting the AC line right here because it was sandwiched between the EPS motor. But as you can see, this bad boy is in. So this hose is a little too long. So we're gonna chop this bad boy. See. I'm learning just like you guys. This is the first time I've done something like this with D17. When it comes to K, I can tell you anything. But as far as these D17s, you know what? I had a D17 in my Civic, obviously, when it was new. And I tried modifying it, but it just, I guess I just kind of lost interest. There just wasn't as many parts available back then. So I, uh, here we go. So, I just went to K and never looked back. So yeah, it looks like it fits pretty good right there. Okay. I need to get a couple bolts and start bolting uh, this thing down. But these studs helped out a lot. Centers everything really well. Don't have to worry about that gasket falling or yeah, I know. Yeah, because I mean the space is pretty tight as it is. So I don't want it to be even worse. Here we go. Yeah, just needs to be up like that a little bit. Let me uh I got a couple bolts right here. This might work. Gotta get this thing started. You know, I'm gonna pull the fuel rail off real quick. I was trying to have like everything, everything on here, but this thing is getting in the getting in the way. So I'm gonna pull the uh, fuel rail off. Fuel rail off real quick, and then uh, get these bolts in a little bit easier. a lot nicer than the stock D17 ones. Yeah, it'll, it'll work. This one, um, I wanted to use the stock D16 rail because it has the return fuel system. And eventually I want to do that to this car so that uh, with the boost, it's a little bit better. You're gonna do a uh, boost by reference or something? Or? Yeah, we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. Okay. Here we go. It fits. Legit. Yes, sir. It's like a upside down RBC mantle. <laughs> okay. One down, two to go. I gotta see if I can find some bolts that will work. The other ones were a little, a little too long.
did a good um, job on clearing those uh, holes for the D17 head. Yeah, I think everything's good. Nice. Yeah, but... There we go. Cinching that thing down. That's it, Tim. Nice. We are in. We're almost ready for that turbo to be slapped on now. Yeah. Okay, one more. And this thing is bolted up. There we go. What do you think, Tim? I love it. Looks, Looks so much good. So much cleaner than the plastic crap. Yeah, I mean, I really don't care. Um, it's 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 more about functionality for me. Of course. And you know, at these manifolds, you know, everybody says that they work so much better. So, okay, whatever. It looks like this plug is actually going to reach. So let's check this out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Push these hoses down a little bit. Ooh. That TPS is, is hitting. Tight. Well, you know what that means? We get a cut? No, these are AC lines. Oh. How? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, did I drop it? Mm. Just don't puncture it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. I'm missing the gasket. No, the gasket's on there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Throw these. Nuts and bolts back on. Looks like my plan for using all these stock D16 parts are probably gonna work out. You're the freaking master of disaster. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. It's not ready yet until this bad boy fires up. It's not done. Everything there looks like it's meant to be there for some weird reason. It's okay. Oh, and also too, you know, I gotta, I gotta relocate this, this PCD before I put the fuel rail on. Bring my flashlight. Yeah, I got it. I'm not gonna use it. Is it long enough? Uh, no. I'm gonna have to uh, use a, uh, uh, use some hose. I have a piece of. I have a piece of hose that I can use. We're gonna see if that'll work. Okay. Going. Ooh, that's pretty big. I don't know if that's gonna work with the hose that I got. I got this piece of uh, fuel line. Five sixteenths. Let's see if this will fit. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is tight. Okay. Trim this up. Yeah, this is a uh, this is fuel line, so. It'll be okay with uh, with oil going. Okay. Let's 
super tight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this hose needs to be like a 3 8. Yeah, but I just I have this in my garage, so. Okay. Probably gonna have to extend a couple things. I'm gonna get this, these fuel injectors to sit flat. There we go. Got one nut right here. Oops. Nope. I got a couple. It's okay. Okay. I got one. I got two. And I'm going to try to reuse this. Uh, This hose is for this. Oh, it's too short. Eh, I'll change it later. But, check this out. This is what I really wanted to see. Oh, too small. Man, this is a little baby fuel line, dude. Yeah. Well. Oh, well. I can mess with it. Well, it works that way, so. Woo! Actually, you know what? Just cut it in. I think, uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna cut it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fuel line for like an RSX or something. For now. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have a couple of those. All the upgrades you do, you probably have like five. Yeah, I have a couple. Yeah. There we go. So this, this fuel line just disconnects and then we can change it with like an RSX one because this fuel line is way too small. Because if you look at this one, yeah, this still doesn't even fit. Was that a 5 16 on the fuel rail? Mm -hmm. Should be. Well here, I'm going to go look for some parts. Well. So, fuel injectors, these fit, at least. We got one thing that fits. Okay. And then, I think, where's that throttle body? Yeah, so this is... This is for the map sensor or the, the TPS. Mm -hmm. We got our nice little uh, extension harnesses right here. Let's see, TPS. Yeah, it's a little too short. And then we have the map sensor. It's also too short, but I can open up this, uh, this, this harness shield and I'm pretty sure that we have a little bit of slack in here. This piece of uh, fuel line, 5 16 see if this will fit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is tight. Okay. 
trim this up. Yeah, this is a uh, this is fuel line, so it'll be okay with uh, with oil going. Through. Super tight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this hose needs to be like a 3 8 Yeah, but I just, I have this in my garage, so. Okay. Probably gonna have to extend a couple things. I'm gonna get this, these fuel injectors to sit flat. There we go. Got one nut right here. Oops. Nope. I got a couple. It's okay. Okay. I got one. I got two. And I'm going to try to reuse this. Uh, Fuel tank. Let's see if the connector works. Ah, maybe. And then this this hose is for this. Oh, it's too short. Eh, I'll change it later. But check this out. This is what I really wanted to see. Oh, too small. Man, this is a little baby fuel line, dude. Yeah. Well. Oh well. I can mess with it. Well, it works that way, so. Woo! Actually, you know what? Just cut it in. I think, uh, no, no, I'm not gonna cut it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fuel line for like an RSX or something. For now. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have a couple of those. All the upgrades you do, you probably have like five. Yeah, I have a couple. Come. There we go. So this, this fuel line just disconnects and then we can change it with like an RSX one because this fuel line is way too small. Because if you look at this one, now this still doesn't even fit. Was that a 516 on the fuel rail? Mm-hmm, should be. Well here, I'm gonna go look for some parts. Well. So, fuel injectors, these fit, at least. We got one thing that fits. Okay. And then, I think, where's that throttle body? Yeah, so this is... This is for the map sensor or the, the TPS. Mm -hmm. We got our nice little uh, extension harnesses right here. Let's see, the TPS. Yeah, it's a little too short. And then we have the map sensor. It's also too short, but I can open up this, uh, this, this harness shield and I'm pretty sure that we have a little bit of slack in here. What did I 
I drop it. That's it. That oh. goes right there. Did you see where it went? Yeah, it went down. This way somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Grab it. Yeah. Mm. All right. Hey, Rick. What, what do you got there? FedEx, FedEx came to give me a delivery. Yeah, this thing is gonna have to wait. I wonder what's in the box. Some big boy parts. Oh yeah? Oh, where's my, where's my blade? Blade. Manhandle it. Yeah. What's in the box? Something big. Oh, this is for my neighbor. Nice. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's see a man. Ooh, what is that? There's a, there's a big boy turbo right here. Ooh. That's pretty. There you go, guys. There's a little little teaser for you. 6767. Ooh, full ceramic ball bearing. That's beautiful. Look at that. Is that now, now we can make some boost. Is that going on your... Uh... This is going on the all-wheel drive DM2. Yeah, nice. Wow. All right, so I just kind of opened up the housing and just started yanking on some wires. Uh, trying to get a little bit of extra room and sure enough, I don't have to do any extending, but I still have to look through my stuff, get that fuel line. Um, I was wrong. I just assumed that it's the same. So I'm gonna have to probably order another fitting or maybe for this conversion, you just have to pick up an RSX uh, line. Okay, so this one used to be, this one used to be right here. So that was for the TPS sensor. So this one's gonna plug right here. Put that under, actually here. Oh, let me throw this under here. So it fits a little bit better. Plug this in. Quick, quick and easy. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put this back on. The fuel pressure regulator, which we're not using currently. I just blocked it off. So we should be good with that. Oops. And then this one was for the map sensor. And then this is for the, what is it called? Um, perch solenoid. And then this is for the intake air temp. This one is definitely gonna have to be extended, but we can just, we can just take the sensor out of here for now. And just plug this in and just kind of let it let it shelf. So yeah, all the injectors are plugged in. The map sensor and the TPS are plugged in. So I just gotta look for a fuel line real quick, plug this in, and then we can we can test start this thing. Oh, I also have to mess with this. Hopefully this bracket fits. Here, let me try this real quick while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, see this is throttle cable for the D17. And let me loosen this. Ooh, that's tight. I was like, yeah, it's not even close to fit. No, <laughs> actually, you know what? This might work. I'm gonna wrap it around a little bit. Yeah, let me, let me loosen this. Let me take this off. I'm gonna do right here. I think that's how. I think that's how it looked like it was gonna fit. Uh, 
baby. Tim, I think that's gonna work. Let me, let me tighten this sucker right here. Nice, all D17. All D17. Should work. Probably zip tie this right here. I don't want. I don't want to be pulling on it too much. It looks pretty good. What do you think, Tim? It looks really good, actually. The one thing I was wrong about was this, but. Uh, yeah, we can we can test this thing real quick. Let me go. Let me go find a fuel line. I'll be right back. All right. So it's a couple days later. You know, and I had to figure out a couple little things. I picked up an RSX fuel line. It bolts right on. And then another issue I was having is with these quick quick connect uh, adapters. Um, the throttle position sensor was actually reading backwards. So when you don't touch the gas, it was at a hundred percent. And then when you floor it, it was at zero percent. So what I did was I took the two wires on the outside and I swapped them. But otherwise, the map sensor worked, uh, the fuel worked, I capped the, the fuel return, fuel injectors worked, everything works. So um, yeah, this thing's ready to go. Um, I'm still having a little issues with the idle control valve. I think I'm just going to clean it up and that'll probably take care of everything. So here, check it out. I'll start it up for you guys real quick. Yeah, the exhaust is a little ricey. Yeah, so everything works pretty good. I'm gonna keep working on this thing, go to the next step. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.